I'm I gotta get my Can I uh get rid of my We're rolling, yeah. Put it up. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, Off the Cuff with uh, I'm Mark and that's Charleston. Chuck. Chuck. Chuck, are you going to go by Chuck. Gerald? This is also my uh, Twilight Twin Dragon best friend uh, Bimmy. for life. Bimmy. I'm Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy. What if we were the Battletoads though? Uh, I would want to be Zip. <sighs> I'm a grin guy. You always wear the sunglasses. Grin? Pimple? Is that Pimple or I thought oh. it was Grin? There's Zip, Pimple. They were named after Acne. Yeah, Zip, Pimple, and Grin. What's have you ever heard of a pimple like a called Grin? Well, you know, I'm kind of a tool too, so I wear Ray-Bans all the time. So me and Grin kind of got that whole thing going on. Okay. Yeah. But what are we doing today? <laughs> uh, well, you wanted to talk about some Final Fantasy since uh, the new Opus 3 I uh, Yes, I'm a little disappointed. Why? Because I expected there to be some 15 in it. And as you know, my knowledge on a lot of, uh, of things isn't up to par with men of well, your caliber. Well, you know, in Japan here, Marcus... This is America. Sir Marcus. <laughs> Here in Japan, I think they're up to set like, I think they're up to like 10. What do you mean? We're just now up to three. Oh, really? Yeah, everything that we're getting here in America has already been done for like years in Japan. Yeah, we're a little behind the times. A little bit behind the times. You wouldn't expect that. You know? The game's been out for, God, several years. But it was a blast over in Japan, and they decided to bring it over here. That's why we've been getting new sets like every, God, I think like every three months or something. I think it's about every three months. Yeah, I remember when Opus like 2 came out when you busted it. That was an awesome show. Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, I'm probably going to pick up some Opus 3. Are you? Yep. Ah, so Have you, you ever a little played taste? It? No. you never played I've it? Never played, I've never played uh, the Final Fantasy card game, but I'd like to because it looks Final really cool. What Final Fantasies have you played? Games? Yeah. Oh, not many. 7, 15, uh, a little bit of Chronicles. Like, a little bit? Just a little bit. Like, I... I my attention span is very short. I found uh, Final Fantasy Unlike my nose, sorry. at a flea market. <laughs> I found Final, Fan uh, Fa Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy? I found uh, Final Fantasy 2 at a flea market for like 10 bucks. And that game... Uh, I bought a collection. It's worth quite a bit. Well, not really a collection. I bought like 10 games from this dude the other day. Final I don't have Fantasy? a PlayStation 1. Yeah, Final Fantasy. All Final Fantasy? No. No? No, oh, there's like five or six of them. Oh, okay. But not five or six. It was five or six different games, and they were just happened to be all Final Fantasy. Well, there's some other stuff that I've never heard of. Are you going to play them? Nope. Maybe. Well, that's why... I don't, I don't have a PlayStation. That's I'm why you don't know anything 4. about any of this game and stuff, Mark. Because you don't play any of the games any well, of the time. You took all of our props off of the table. Like this? Yep. Boom. You That's an the, empty box. You see the immense strength that I have? I can just fling You are a man full among boxes. men. I can just fling full boxes. Look, look at that. God. You see those reflexes? Look I'm like that. a ninja cat on steroids. <laughs> All right, next up. <laughs> but you know what I got? What'd you get? I got one that's actually got cards in it. Oh, really? You see how I slammed that down really? and it was right side up? Isn't that amazing? I... Oh, yeah? I will, I will raise you. I raise you a Mega Man. No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. By the way, that is my favorite video game character it's, and franchise. That's why we're best friends. Yep. Oh my God. Wait, that was the, why we. That's, yeah, that's yep. why we became best yep, friends. That's right. I, I think you know what? That was the night that we had everybody in the crowd talking about uh, all, all those different hashtags. It was like at one point it was hashtags Lord of the Rings. About Gandalf. Yeah. G yeah whatever I that don't means. Remember what that was about? He said Gandalf. I said Gazentai. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But uh, you want to open some of these? Yeah. There's Let's one, open. The one thing I do know about Final Fantasy, I want to talk about when we open packs. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's open up some packs and talk about, you know, do you know them, do you not? Okay. Good? Yep, I'm you ready. Got a, you got a cutter? We don't need a cutter. Yeah. We need a cutter. Keep on struggling. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't, I can't do it. I have no fingernails. Dude, this is why we're best friends. See, I'll help you open that. Get my back, bro. There you go. God, you're savage. I've got this weird Pikachu behind me, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, Google Eyes? Oh, Google Eyes. Right there. So, we done a pack cracker a couple weeks ago of this, Mark. Yep. And that was a good pack cracker. I am excited to open these packs. I've actually and been really excited about these. I can't these. get my box to work. Yeah, these are actually, these are pretty cool because they have Sephiroth on them. 
Yep. Uh, you guys get to check out a look of that. So we would. We would. The camera's a little. Well, as you know, that I'm usually there we go. I'm usually the camera guy, but uh, we have a camera girl. You may recognize her from other shows, as I've camera mentioned gal. her. Camera gal. Triple. Oh, there, oh there goes our mic setup too. The ball has been dropped, oh ladies my. and gentlemen. But that's Alicia. That just busted everywhere. I call her Triple A because that's her initials, and then when you spell it out, it's rrr, Alicia. I got roll my tongue. Don't open it yet, dude. Well, you ain't even talking to the camera. What? Whoa! I can't open Whoa. one. Whoa! I can't open one. Whoa! All right. Take me back to the mini. Yeah, get us back on the. Take me back to where you can see the. Is it not recording still? No, it's recording right now. Well, then what's the issue? If you can't see you open a pack. Well, I mean that. Oh, I didn't know that was that riveting. It might be. Sorry. <laughs> I was just going to get it prepped to open. Let's just open the Mega Man. You know what? Dude. Let's just not open it. You open it. You open one. No, you no, already started. No, I tried. Well, here, I'll trade you. No, this one's mine. Okay. All right, so next we're going to open some packs. I don't know if we have a technical difficulty screen or not, but mm. we need one uh, if you've ever seen a, a, one of our live shows. <laughs> That's kind of the enjoyment of our new uh, off-the-cuff show. Uh, yeah. Or, I wish we could do one that's like a drunken mailman. <laughs> Let's see what we get here, Mark. All right. So we're I, gonna talk about some of these characters as we open them. I have Link from have Zelda. Who? Yep, that's Link. There you go. That's Old Man Link right here. From. Uh, if anybody's ever played Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. I'm just kidding. That's not really him. That's a. Uh, is that Ranger or is that a Ranger? That's uh, Old Man Link, as you said. He's got his green tunic on. That's a ranger from uh, Final Fantasy. Was that five? Or is that no? It says one. There's that's, no way. That's yeah, yeah, five. yeah. That dude. He looks like an eight-bit character. That, well, not really. Uh, there's some people that work here who look like eight-bit <laughs> characters. If you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> right. That was mildly look, offensive. Nah. <laughs> you know what though? Who else you get? I don't know. You I know got what? Garnet. Let's just talk about Yang, it. Yang, Shiva. Angel, spelled angel. Angel penance. Penance, yeah, and Brandalis, who's actually right, really Mark, mean. So do you know what? A, do you know what you what you even opened here? Nope. I have All not. right, so I know this one uh, is foil, ish. Yeah, so you're gonna open up three rares, that unlike uh, you know your average card games, they there we go. The rares in Final Fantasy are pretty much like uncommons from say you know like Pokemon. Or that Magic. makes no sense to me because Yu-Gi-Oh does that too. Because you go, uh, their rare yeah. has a has like a foil in the lettering. Yeah. But then there's a super rare and an ultra rare and an ultimate rare and a secret rare and a ghost rare. Well, what, if all your cards are uncommon, call them uncommon. I mean, well, really. Well, I mean, they're still hard to get. Not, dude. You never even open this. Uncommon, How are you arguing? Uncommons are uncommon. Yeah. Yeah, they're not common. But rares are rare. You see, if like your rares are as common as uncommon, it's really a matter of perspective, Mark. Yeah. All right, we're, that's you get. We're not. Ta we're talking about Final Fantasy, which right now I want to get to my only, like the only one thing I do know about this and my okay. favorite thing about these cards is these things are built to like. Oh yeah, they're they're brick heavy houses duty. Right oh my there. god, they're, check this out. Oh, that would be in my rare. Look at the back of that. It's, that right there. That's like it's like they've got like a this plastic sheen to it. Almost, it's like a. It's like a deck box. It's the same. Like, it's the same material coating. as a deck box. Yeah, yeah. and they're durable as all get out. Let's see if they can hear that in the mic. Like, listen to this. Listen to that plastic scratch right there. And the car doesn't scratch. No, the it's car like doesn't scratch at all. It's like bed liner for your truck. It, yeah, it's rhino liner. It's rhino lined. I get all rhino line there, bud. <laughs> hey, woo! So all that's right. a VV, by the way. Did you get anything good? I don't know. Let's see. I got oh, a. Oh, that's cool. Is that good? No, it's a, it's a, a, a premium rare. A, since you don't like those. A pr oh, it's a premium. No, 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 no. I don't have a problem with this. I get rare and premium rare. Oh, okay. I don't get super secret ultra ultimate. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Well, this kind of actually this does do the same thing. And it, I would be completely fine with that if they were like common, uncommon, rare, super rare, ultra rare, ultimate rare. Well, you secret get rare, you get common, rare. common, rare, hero, and legendary. No. No. I'm opening another pack. Okay. Go. Here we go. I'll let you guys check out that Windrake though. That's a actually that's a really really cool card. Yeah, that's really is that cool. one of the premium rares you were talking about? Yeah, that's a that's a premium uh, rare. 
And uh, let's see, he says to tap and choose a forward control other than Windrake and return it and Windrake to their owner's uh, So it's I got a cool one bounce too. card. I got a premium rare too. Like what? Dragoon. Dragoon. Uh, and I got Inuo. You remember Inuo cool from Final art. Fantasy V? Who? Inuo. I actually didn't play five. Oh, you didn't play five? No. See. There's so many. There's so many freaking Final Fantasies, man. It's uh, crazy. Well, they're all different. Yeah, they're all. You know, oh. Except for like oh. ten and ten two. I, yeah. Professor Mark, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Mark, I've got some information that'll. Bl well, I don't know. Everybody probably knows this. <laughs> I don't. Want to say, I don't want to say that. I want to hype it up. Then it be something everybody knows. Yeah. You know why it's called Final Fantasy? Uh. I hope you yeah, do because yeah. it's really really cool. Wasn't it? Uh, <clears throat> man, what was that? The, the dude that made it. Was it supposed to be his final project? It was the last thing that he tried to make before he had to stop trying to make games, and it was his Final Fantasy. Before he had like, to stop trying to make them? Was he just bad at it? I had, if you have a bunch of failures, you don't think the last one's going to work, and his worked. That's why it was his oh, final. Oh, it was, it was his, his final fan. Well, yeah. It's the way that you said it before he had to stop. Like people were telling, like, man. No, he like, had to. No, he had to. Like, you know, you can chase your dreams, but your dreams. No, he had to stop chasing his dream because he was going broke. Like he was losing everything mm. he had because man, he was trying. Man, that's devastating when you try and like, when you try and make it. But it's awesome. Well, this is a happy ending though because one no, his final true. fantasy that's boom true. is when he like he did it. Like that's amazing. That's my. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite things about it. And another thing, I like how the game always does change. It's never. Yeah. Like. Well, there's corresponding there's any... themes. Did you know that? Corresponding, yeah. But there's never. Re is there reoccurring characters though? Yeah. Like who? Sid. There's always a Sid in oh, every Final Fantasy. The girl. No. Who? Uh, who's a girl? That's one of our one of our studio men's leaving. Nathan's uh. leaving everybody. <laughs> this is what he does. He'll you know just do it. He'll, um, he'll he'll show up at noon, do one or two things, and then leave. Yeah. Uh, he did get a nice shave though. He did. He's looking very very smooth. Very smooth, but he's got this weird mustache. <laughs> You know, those are coming back. Okay, good. <laughs> He's bringing it back right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at a freaking woolly caterpillar. I, I, I hope he brings it back to wherever he got it and leaves it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sid Just is... Kidding, uh, Sid's in every game. Usually Who's he's Sid? like a... Oh. It, usually he's like a it's some a, kind of like side character. Like well, who's in, the girl that's been in a bunch of them? Like in 15 the or... The, yeah, the girl. The old man. That's who Sid is. Yeah. He's 15. Yeah, That's yeah. Sid. He's always usually an older, some kind of, like, wise guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, yeah. I like him because he fixes up the car in 15. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And his granddaughter is, uh... Boy. Woo! <laughs> yeah, let me tell you what. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. She's a looker. She is... Yeah, there's something to... Never mind. <laughs> well, Mark, I opened up a foil hero, though. I'm... Just so that we can, uh... Talk about this right quick. This is actually cool. This is a summon from 12. Zalera the Death Seraph. The Death Seraph. That's actually a really cool looking art. Too. Oh, here's Trey from Type O. Check that out. And he's a premium rare. Here's Ifrit. That's a summon that breaks all the dole, which is the same as like tapped uh, forwards. It costs 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, I 13. I love these slavery. cards. Yeah, that's really cool. I really. Of yeah, all, they're really cool. I, you know, I grew up a Pokemon. I grew up a little bit with Yu Gi Oh! But these are just, there's something about the way they feel. They're like if you don't know, just go buy a booster pack. They're around three bucks. Go get a booster pack. You know how buy one from trollandtoad.com. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely buy from trollandtoad. That's, couple. by the way, presented by trollandtoad.com. We kind of forgot to mention that, but that, that's all right. <laughs> but, I mean, really, the cards, they just, you want to play. Yeah. Like, they have that, it's like. You could reliably shuffle these without sleeves and not and not mess anything not worry up. as nope. much about the cards getting messed up. Uh, definitely not the back. Yeah. Like we said, they're rhino. They're rhino lined. That's something that's really good. Uh, you know, like whenever we have our Yu-Gi-Oh sales, you know, those corners and the Pokemon sales, like the edges with the whitening. You'll never get that yeah, with these. Yeah, I would There's doubt, no way you get whitening on the edges of these. So you got a uh, you got a foil hero I got from a yours. Foil hero. This is from Type Zero. I never got to play Type Zero I didn't either. Get to play but Type Zero either. Type Zero is supposed to be like an adult. They like curse. No. You know that they do what I did on the last off the cuff. Oh. That you're not supposed to. Let a little to do. curse word slip. <laughs> That's a great looking card. You know, you get right excited. There. So tell me a little bit about their power, like the eight thousand. Um, the highest it goes is nine. Ah, and so he's almost as he's almost like. Yeah, he's super strong. Uh, it says if he's, uh, well, we can go back to that card right quick there. Yeah. Maybe. There we go. Thank you. Uh, it says if he's active, which is like untapped, uh, he can't be chosen by your opponent's abilities, which is really cool. 
and oh. then if he's dull, uh, he cannot be chosen by your opponent's summon. Wh so wait, what do you mean dull? Summon. It's like tapped in Magic. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking... Hey, wait, you know what? There, what is the... Is there, a, like, a mana-type system to this? Yes. What is it? Uh, you see up there in the corner, those crystals? Uh, here, we'll show them my... I have a dog named this, actually. Okay. Odin. Odin. I got that's a dog. A, that's name. a good. That's, that's a, a great good dog card. name. Oh yeah, he's a beagle, lazy beagle. Why not name him Odin? Uh, that's fair. Yeah. So this is the Odin from Top Zero, but yeah, up there in the uh, upper left corner, that's the. Uh, it's like a mana cost. It's a crystal point cost, and you have to have at least one. Uh, let's say that you're playing. This is a lightning card, by the way, like the lightning element. So let's say that you're playing a lightning wind deck, and you're wanting to cast this Odin mark, you have to pay at least one lightning crystal toward it but oh well, and then the rest can be whatever have color. we opened anything like that any of the mana cards uh, oh, i don't want to call them mana cards they're they're called i don't want to call them mana cards they're backups like uh actually here we go is this, uh, what about this that's not a backup that's a forward no no no. i mean is it a good card is it good well i've not got to read it oh there's a backup though so see how it says right there in the middle it says backup you play those to your back line and those are like your crystal point producers Oh, cool, cool, cool. So if so, you dole him, you would get one frost crystal point. But it costs five to cast him, though, right? Yeah, so that's probably a, uh, let's see, when the cannoneer enters the field, choose up to two forwards, your opponent controls, dole them, and freeze them. So there's a reason why this costs five. Uh, when you play this cannoneer to come out to your backup line, he's going to tap two things, and they're going to be frozen, which means they don't untap on their next turn, so they're... Like, oh, that's he's gonna awesome. Lock him. He's going to lock them down there for but quite a while. Do you know, the, is there a ratio for legendaries that come in booster boxes? Because I would um, love to open one. There's like, uh, I know in my really? experience, when you open when you open a box, you'll usually get like two foil legendaries and like a handful. Oh. Yeah, so. Uh, how, do you, how do you denote which one is a legendary? Look down here at the bottom. I'm going to do that in my uh, next pack because I'm about to pull one. We'll show them this cool garland here. Uh, but if you look down there at the bottom in the middle, yeah. like right up, let's see if I can get my finger. Hold on. There it is. Right there. Uh, it has like a card number. Well, it has the set first, which is three, and then the card number, and then uh, a letter. C for common, H for hero. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And then uh, R for rare, L for legendary. Oh, I got a rare. Oh, wait. What's, what's more rare, hero or a rare? Hero. Hero? You always get three rares. So, what are the tiers? You got common... Common, rare, hero, legendary. Okay. Yep. Okay. Pretty simple. I got a few rares out of here. I want to show off a nice foil legendary, though. I would love to, too. I got a hero, uh, Kelger, right here. Power 8,000. Man, we've been opening up a lot of foil heroes. That's pretty good. This That's is good. Kelger from 5. I'm, I'm ready to get a legendary up there, though. I got. What's your favorite uh, Final Fantasy? 15. 15? Uh, so the latest one? The latest one. I know I'm going to get called a poser or whatever for it, but I, I just like so. the game. I mean, maybe if you're just getting into it. I, I really am just getting into it because I've never been a big fan of turn-based. That's always been my thing. That's I fair. haven't been. I haven't been a huge turn. Like, I love the games, and they were fun to play, but turn-based, I, I feel like to feel like I'm in the action. Yeah. With 15, I really got that choice. It made me a fan, like, like legitimately. When I saw in, uh, in uh, Game Informer last year that it was coming out and it was going to be a... a uh, it wasn't going to be turn-based. I was all over it. Like, and I loved it. Do you know then. how long they were working on 15? There were previews of Final Fantasy 15 back in, like, 2010. Yeah. Really? And they they scrapped it because they wanted it to be on, like, the new engine. Uh, so they had it, like, fleshed out. And then uh, they completely rewrote the game just to get on the new system, which is pretty, pretty dope. I just opened up a cool card, though, Minerva. From uh, seven. I thought you said the the she's uh, that's a ten thousand. Ooh, all right. I stand corrected. Apparently, we go to ten thousand now. Yeah. Well, that's, that's right. New. I'm calling him out, people. Uh, that's that's new. That's a new one on me. I've not got to open up three yet, so you know I'm learning too. Are you excited? I am actually, because uh, you gotta see what you're gonna. Especially be. for this card, just because it looks dope. Oh, it look, it's awesome. At the beginning of your main phase, your first main phase, like one of the three following actions, all your forwards gain plus three thousand power. All characters, your opponent controls these, their abilities to the end of the turn or draw one card. So, crap. That's really good. I, got, I opened a Sephiroth. You opened it, a Sephiroth? Yeah, it's just rare, but it's still a really, really cool art. Oh, he's on the front of the yeah, pack. Yeah, it's the one that's on the, uh, it's one that's on the pack. Oh, man, that's a sweet card. Check out. Dude, I I'm yeah. really am. Whenever the Final Fantasy 15 hits these card sets, I'm super, 
super serious about buying a booster box of them. Do it. Because I think that is just so cool. That's really, really like, That's part. really what made me a Final Fantasy fan was that game. And I just love how it kind of has the, like, it's a Japanese game, but it has that kind of Americana, we're going to travel the, like, travel the U.S. feel to it. Even yeah, though it's, yeah. you know, I mean, Tom they drive Yen. that, uh, what, what do they call the car? The Regalia. The Regalia, yeah. Oh, man. And that's like just a classic muscle car. It's you, like they, you know what they told the designer whenever they told him to design that car? Mm -mm. They said, we want you to design Make a car. Make it pimp? Basically, they said, we want you to design a car <laughs> that, would, out, son. that would cost $500,000. Holy crap. And that's why it flies? It's pretty much. <laughs> that's like pretty a phantom. Much. It's oh, like he looked at a phantom and like, said, it's got I can front, do one you better. Know, you, if you, did you watch the movie, Kingsglaive? No. Watch, I never got to watch it. If, if anybody hasn't watched Kingsglaive, watch Kingsglaive. It is awesome. See, I, didn't, I'm I, a, I thought I'm, it was going to be... I'm a bit of a movie critic, and I heard... I mean, it's like Advent Children, you know, if you're a no. movie critic and you watch Advent Children, no. people are like, oh, this movie's crap, but if you're a fan of Final Fantasy, I wasn't a fan it. of Final Fantasy at all, and then I watched King's Glaive, and, I was, and it was before the game came out, so I was like, oh, mm -hmm. here we go. Nyx, oh, you gotta watch it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta watch it. Well, I mean, I, think, I, mean I, I stand corrected then, if you think it was good and you didn't even like it. I didn't, Final I wasn't before. a Final Fantasy fan until... I thought the, uh, the game when I saw the previous of the game, mm -hmm. and then I watched King's Glaive, and it just turned me on, uh, on more to <laughs> turned, it. Turned him on. It turned me on more <laughs> to the game. What's that? Uh, what's that expression when people say like, when when they really like something and it's appealing, and they're like, oh, you know, it just gets me off. Like, but it's not like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like the connotation that you think yeah, it it's is. Just but a very it's just like <laughs> poor euphemism. Yeah, it's a pretty poor euphemism. <laughs> I have not yet seen a legendary. No, we've not opened one, but check out this cool art right here. White Tiger, GC Kunmi. This is from Type Zero. Again, a game I've not got to play, but they put a lot of Type Zero cards in here. But that's a really, that character looks really cool. There are a lot of old, like, sayings like that that are just pretty cool. Yeah. Like, they don't, like you don't really think of them as compliments. Like, if I were to say, uh, you're, like, if I, if I was to give a girl a compliment, I said, you're every season in a day. That's a really old compliment. That is, that's a classy compliment. That's, it's a very compliment. Yeah. That's a very classic, wow. and classy yeah. compliment. Yeah, classic, classy, classy compliment. You know, that, is, that to, is you, Mark. What's that? I think you're the epitome of class. Uh, <laughs> and that is what a lie sounds like, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Hey, by the way, if you're still actually watching this video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to our uh, channel. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, you can watch us uh, talk about a lot of things. Sometimes we talk about games. Even though that's what we're supposed we're to be actually doing. right now yeah like uh this off the cuff series uh we actually started this oh wait last a minute Friday. l is legendary all right well, yeah yeah we'll check is that out legend? this yeah that oh but she was the, oh okay that's pretty cool that's pretty good but yeah we started this series and that means uh, i got another it was one. literally off the cuff and uh it was literally and we happened, last friday yeah and we happen to have had this final fantasy uh set coming I'm up so, so we're happy like, that we got let's to just talk final about fantasy. some final fantasy and open up some final fantasy and, yeah, because uh, it's because it, we can talk about anything, but yeah, it kind of revolves around the things we like. Because I mean, I'm I'm a huge uh, video game guy. Like, I uh, just I play a little bit of everything, even though I haven't played most of the Final Fantasies. But I never was, like I said, a turn-based mm -hmm. guy. But have you been whole... keeping up on the the Seven remake? No, no. They're remaking Seven. Is it going to yep. be? What do you mean? Is it still going to be turn-based? I believe so, but you know, uh, you're still. Uh, That's somebody. A classic game, though. No, no, I played it. I played it. I liked it. It's just, yeah. I want to be in the action, you know. I understand. Let's check out this Aerith right quick here, since this is our first legendary. I got a Prish, uh, Prish that's a legendary too, apparently. Oh yeah, she's a, she's from Opus One. So that Aerith, let's see, cost three is backup. You control category seven character. That's a forward. The cost for playing Aerith is reduced by one, so she costs two. And uh, the forge you control can't be chosen by your opponent's backup. Wow, so yeah, she's super, super good. I got a foil legendary. Well, you done beat me. Yep. Uh, I got, well, actually, I got a few good cards here that I really like, even though one of them is a common, but this happens to be most people's favorite character. Oh, Cloud is in it. Yeah, this is that's most people's favorite character, Final Fantasy VII. That's Cloud. This is the Cloud. Uh, oh, yeah, this is when he was just straight up in, like, Shinra. That's like a Shinra outfit. That's awesome. Have you seen the legendary version of Cloud? I uh, own a legendary Cloud. Oh. Yeah. And a legendary Sephiroth. I think my Cloud's actually foil. Or premium. Th those, are, 
Dude, <laughs> more like those, premium. Those are expensive cards. They are. They're. I, I, it's cloud. I think that cloud is still the most expensive card. Yeah. He's most people's favorite. Well, I that think. too. But but it's just because he's really really good. Cloud or Noctis? I asked the question that you don't, you cloud can't ask. See, you're gonna get a fight started because you're. Uh, but you, people are gonna get so mad at me because I'm trying to talk about this <laughs> and I haven't played many of the games. Uh, I'm gonna go with Titus from Ten. The guy who had the most uh, awful uh, voiceover with the most awkward laugh ever. Did you ever play 10? Uh, no, but I read that it was extremely difficult, and I read that one of the most difficult things in that game you can do is, what's that, the, the mini game in it? The ball game? Oh, freaking uh, blitz ball. Blitz ball, blitz yeah. ball. I heard that there's a gun you get if you get the highest, somebody in the comments, tell me exactly how you do it. Uh, somebody... Yeah, so I read the article somebody wrote about how the most difficult thing you can do in that game is get the gun you get for winning all the I'm not Blitz quite Ball. Aware. I know that whenever I tried to play Blitz Ball, when it, when it came out, I mean, I was only like 13 or 14. I didn't understand a thing. That was oh, yeah. On. Have you ever played any of the mini games in Final Fantasy? Like, they're like the card game from 8. No. They're so hard to just like No, a lot of them, they're comprehend. difficult to pick up. It's like playing yeah. Caravan in Fallout New Vegas. Did you ever play Fallout New Vegas? Mm-mm. Sorry, I can't say I did. I'm sorry, Mark. This isn't a Fallout. This is oh, a you're Final okay. Fantasy. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. We did play so, Mega Man. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not a Fallout guy. I'm actually. I'm not into he, those. He's catching some. I'm not stuff into those. From, uh, you know how you're not into like turn-based RPGs. You're not into. I'm not into that. Awesome games. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. Mega Man. I swear. Mega Man. Yeah, what about it? We're best friends. Thank you. So, no, what were we going to say, though? What were we going to say, though? Uh, I forget. Let's check out this card. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so, this this is your second uh, foil legendary you opened? Yes, that's Zach. Zach. Seven. When he enters the field, all the forwards you control gain plus 2,000 power to the end of the turn. When Zach is put from the field into the break zone, you may search for one card named Cloud. Oh, so he fetches out a cloud that costs oh. four or less. So, that's cool. Oh. So he could actually pull out that cloud card that I handed you a minute ago, huh? Uh, if it cost four. Did it cost? Let's see four how much or less, it or is it four? It was four or less. What were we going to say earlier? Because you prefer games know. that aren't like... Aren't oh, like... oh. Uh, I like... Uh, when I play games, I, like, I'm bad for trying to speed run games. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, because, you know, I played... Well, here, here's Mega Man, for example. I played so much Mega Man as a platformer that it got to a point where I started trying to just see how fast I could play through it. And that habit just carried you, over into any games that I played. That's a that's a, a quality. And this is this is related to Final Fantasy too, because Final Fantasy is a very difficult game no matter which one you play. Mm -hmm. That being said, have you noticed that the the difficulty of beating games is nothing compared yeah, to yeah? That's was? why games like Dark Souls and Demon Souls are viewed as like hard, but no, they are they're the they're tier like, of difficulty at the old school. Yeah, like, that's like uh, <clears throat> beat Streets of Rage. The, uh, that's old that's school. a really good game by yeah the way. that's a great game beast beat battle toads or double dragon those games are yeah. extremely hard uh but final fantasy is one of them as well and uh, yeah the difficulty of games is just mm -hmm. not like it was not but like I, it was i think that one of the coolest things about final fantasy especially 15 is i really started like i gave i, I cared about the the characters mm -hmm. you know i kind of felt for them and i'm not going to give you any spoilers but like when certain things happen to some people you kind of feel bad because you've been with them so long they kind of feel like you're friends. Do you, ever, do you ever cry while playing a video game? I no. Have. Really? Yeah. What game? Uh, it was actually... Mrs. Pac-Man. Mo <laughs> <laughs> with that ghost ate her. <laughs> you got her. <laughs> uh, no, it was uh, when I was a kid I played uh, Kirby's Dreamland for Nintendo like all what? the time and then I finally beat it but as a kid, I had bonded with Kirby going through, you know, so many levels. And then I finally beat it, and at the end, he just holds up a sign and says goodbye. And I was like, well, this is it. It's Aww, over. Oh, man. Yeah. That was, it pulled the heartstrings. I'd say it probably did. I'm tearing up right now thinking about it. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm almost in. You want to talk about Mega Man to make you feel better? No, no. <laughs> I do want to talk about this card, though. Uh, I, I didn't tell you that there's actually starter cards. Uh, like this is a starter garnet, and uh, in the starters, 
this card would have been uh, non-foil only. So if you get Opus 3, uh, you have a chance to get some of those starter cards, but as the foil uh, premium version, like, uh, like this Garnet. So it has an S down there instead of like an L or an H or a C. Man, I'm just opening everything that you've already opened cool versions of. Like, I just got a Zack as well. You know, I thought I opened a God Pack there for a second because uh, all the cards in my... All of these are rares. Or heroes. What? Oh, that one is too. So in one pack you open up one, two, three... I opened one pack and got... This is a common mark. Oh, well, no, it, sorry. It must have got stuffed in there because I was trying to separate them. But in one pack, I still got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, a foil rare and a hero. I got a foil rare and a hero, and the other ones are just regular rares. But I don't know what this one is. Uh, what what set that is? LOV four. I'm not quite. If anybody knows what familiar, LOV yeah. four is, mention uh, in the comments. Just let yeah, us. Throw, yeah, throw yeah. Let us know. We don't claim to be experts on any of this, but we do claim to be fans of it all. Avid fans. Avid yes. fans. Even me, who has amateur hours of well no see i like fancy. i like your perspective because you're coming in like not really see you're almost like a a blossoming nerd nerd yes uh you know with no negative connotation no there. no none uh first, you're, first you're, off none is or nerd is the new cool yeah that is the new cool absolutely um but yeah like you you you've started uh being so involved with these games here that, that it's rubbing off on you it really is yeah. You went from a guy who just wants to go mudding and... Oh. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Although, that being said, yeah, I have, I've been known to go four-wheeling every now and then in my truck, but whatever. Yeah, you've just, uh, you know, you started getting interested in Magic the Gathering, and you come up to me, you're like, man, I want to open up some of these Final Fantasy packs. I really do, though. That's the thing. It's, it's you see this, you see this stuff every day, and you kind of... Yeah, you want to get involved with it. really want to play, you yeah. know? And I like to learn how to play Final Fantasy, because it looks... Fun and doesn't look overly complicated. Like there's some games. Like, no, this game is pretty. It's pretty easy, really. Okay, yeah. I thought you'd uh, say it's overly complicated. No, and I'm an no, idiot. It's okay. pretty easy. <laughs> Here's a. We had a. Uh, we had one of our uh, staff here earlier ask if Ramza was in this set, and I told oh, him, yeah. yeah. And there actually is Ramza, and he's a legendary even. So that Ramza, pretty dope. Yeah, Final Fantasy Tactics right there. For each category, Final Fantasy Tactic 4, where you control other than Ramza, Ramza gains 1,000 power. Uh, that's really strong. That's pretty, then, that uh, seems a little OP to me. Yeah, you can pay three and choose a, a forward that's a Final Fantasy Tactics category that you control, and it gains 1,000 power, and haste, and first strike. So you're learning magic, you know exactly what those I know what mean. haste and first strike yes. mean for sure. Wait a minute. Okay, haste means when you pull it out, there's no summoning sickness or anything like that, correct? When you whip it out, there's no summoning sickness. Okay, and then first strike means that it will attack before it. Oh, it, they don't trade damage; it hits first. It hits first. Yeah. They don't trade damage. And okay, the yeah. Damage is checked, and then yeah, if it kills. Have you it, noticed that we're staying like on these cards for an overly long amount of time? No, no. Well, oh. it's for me to adjust my gut down here that it turned right back <laughs> in. <laughs> my bad. Here's a oh, here's a full common. A summoner. Yeah. I'm looking for a legendary, man. Looking for those L's. Give me them L's. I just really love the foils in general on these. Have you only opened like six packs and I'm over here and I'm on like pack You're going 30? to town. Well, I'm having to show off all these cards and explain it to you. Well, I'm just looking for the awesome ones. Straight oh, out of okay. the gate. You know, I want, see, I want to see the legendaries. I'm not getting any I, foil I'm, legendaries. I'm feeling foil legendary, right? Oh, here's, man, these a, cards, here's a foil comic. There's so many of these cards that just have awesome art on them. I love how they pull art from the games, too. Yeah, uh, that, that's a cool thing I was going to mention, is that they actually take art um, from the games. They take art uh, that's from, you know, like maybe art books, and they use those arts. They do new arts for them. Uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff, really. So, tell me what about these. Uh, why are they, why do they, what do the characters look like that? Uh, these are uh, the, the mannequins. Um, oh, here's another one, too. Uh, Ephemeral Summoner. This is Decidia Imaginary Brawler. Final Fantasy, I think. Dave, is that a thing? Decidia Final Fantasy? Dave knows you know? Final Fantasy. Uh, I think I think it's from Decidia. I got another foil um, legendary, buddy. But there's a yep, you did Barts. Uh, there's a uh, 
there's a rare or a hero or something that gets stronger based on the mannequins. I so love these cards. They feel so good in your hand. I know, uh, this is yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. It's from Dissidia. Uh, this card feels like I just you want to play. Like you just yeah, I mean play. they feel good. They feel great. They're, they're solid. They're solid. And this game is and actually the, this game only came out in November uh, with the first Opus One, and it sold out so fast that. Uh, they actually gave a, uh, Opus 2 came out before there was a re-release of Opus 1. So the few people, like myself, that managed to get a few boxes of Opus 1, uh, that was pretty much all that you could get until after Opus 2 came out. So a lot of people started getting into the Final Fantasy TCG by Opus 2 do you before happen, they even had Opus 1. Do you happen to know how many different cards are in this set? Uh, it should say on the back. How many different ones? Uh, there's 148 new ones and a hundred and uh, actually oh, there's, there's plus 154 premium so there's some uh, there's 300 and it's like the, it's those starter two. cards there's 302 cards in this yeah in this new set yeah counting the premium counting the premium uh, i you know i don't mean to like i didn't plan on us busting this many of these packs but this is like it's, it's just it's a labor of off, love yeah, yeah. yeah. i got a, a quacho queen from oh. World of Final Fantasy, so oh. they're really digging deep. Oh. I don't know if you've played, like, World of Final Fantasy and Dissidia and Top Zero, but there really is. I'm sure 15 will get in there soon. There's everybody's favorite. There's that cloud. There's yeah. that cloud again. And he's a three, actually, at seven. I, th I imagine this would be good if you played that, uh, uh, the quarter where you can summon cloud. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just don't remember how much the legendary cloud, uh, from Opus 1. Uh, probably a lot. Probably, uh. Oh, nose is itchy. He's probably the... Yeah. Cloud's I think... Uh, probably the, the poster child, really. When you say? Cloud. I mean, when most people think of Final Fantasy, yeah, Cloud. I think of a giant sword. Yeah. Running around in Final Fantasy VII as well. That's right. Well, Sephiroth could be, like, the poster child, too. Yeah. A lot of people think of that. Uh, you should play... Do you play MMOs? Yeah. You should play uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen. Check that out. I'll try it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not. I mean, you, I, you know my feelings on turn based, unless it's Pokemon Red. It's not really turn based. Is it not? No. It's That's an MMO. Awesome. It's hard to be turn based on MMO. I forgot I've sent another pack right here in front of me. Yep. All right. Here's an interesting fact about Opus One, by the way. I'm ready. Uh, I love interesting facts. When Opus One came out. And this is something that you guys can actually like dig around. Maybe you'll find a lucky box uh, of Opus One, the first release or the first wave. Um, they had some card errata errors, and then they also overly foiled the the foils on the first wave of Opus One. So when they done the re-release here about uh, four months ago or so, five months ago, uh, the wording's different. The wording is correct. On the cards and then the foil is a little it's not as foil you know what that reminded me of do you remember when we did the uh pokemon show last week mm -hmm. do you remember that card that had the misspelled word in the bottom of it instead of saying just it said hust, hust. yeah and somebody in the comments actually said yeah that yep. card should have a misprint on it and i was like oh no way and i mean i'll be damned it kind of did didn't it what was it break a break a mountain with hust one one punch yeah yeah it, it can break a mountain with hust one punch yep <laughs> <laughs> but look, I got you. Ready? I'm about to go to the other camera, Dave. I'm about to drop a deuce on you. Because hey right here's another legendary. Well, that, man. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop it on you because there's my legendary oh. that we opened at the same time. Did we that, really? Yeah. That's our best friend. I believe that card actually is the, that's the most sought after card in Opus 3 right now. Is it? Uh, I believe Do you, so. Do you have a value? Yeah, that's uh, because it's a. Uh, foil as well that's like a 25 to 30 dollar card that's uh also because it's awesome because he's on a chocobo yeah love chocobos uh, again from tactics so i uh, see when he's chosen by an ability of a character your opponent controls break that character dang what's break mean is that uh, essentially destroy. put him in the graveyard yeah so playing? if they try and target him hey, just by targeting him it gets destroyed and then uh whenever it's chosen by a summon of your opponent which is like spell yeah uh it deals one point of damage to your opponent and you can, you can only take seven points of damage before you're dead. 
in the game. As the player? Yeah. Oh, look, I got the, I got another legendary. It's the same exact one I pulled, but it's not foil. Oh, well, what do you know? Huh. God, your box was just loaded. Yeah, man, I should have bought this one. Yeah. <laughs> you should see if you can just buy the rest of the box. Yeah. This is really cool, though. Uh, just opening up, yeah, anything Final Fantasy. That's the last one I'm going to open. All right. Yeah. We'll let you open one more. And, guys, I we're going to do see. these, like, sometimes we're going to just open up and see what we get. Uh, if it's something that we can also, like, I got a legendary relatable. Bart's. God almighty. This is like the second or third of him I found, but I, I didn't really, I didn't realize he was a legendary until just now. So this is some cool art too, by the way. This is like the five. Th there's a few cards that are like that. Yeah, where it's like the sketchings. Uh, really neat looking. That's like just some real old school. I love it's that. It's like card. if someone was sitting in uh, in high school and they were just straight tuning out their teacher. Yeah, this maybe is what that's they what that guy was doing. You know, that was his Final Fantasy, and he would just sketch out characters. But which Final Fantasy? That's from Final Fantasy V, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really cool card. And I can't. There's a lot of value in the box I got. Uh, yeah. You think? Yeah. You opened up a ton of foil legendaries, a ton of legendaries. I'm sure some good heroes. So. That kind of helped him with me and Dave when we opened some Ammon Kev and uh, Hour of Devastation, uh, Devastation bundles. AKA the fat packs. Wait, didn't he get a, a bad one and you got a good one? Oh, I got a killer one. I got a, I got one of the masterpiece <laughs> cards. Uh, <laughs> Dave got Jane. And Dave didn't get really anything. <laughs> he opens up his packs. There's not even any rares in it. I think you got a rare. Yeah, you do. <laughs> this one. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are interested in buying this, by this the way, <laughs> yeah. uh, if you want to pick up some of this Final Fantasy uh, Opus 3 here, you can go to trollandtoad.com, of course. Oh, he's another legendary. This is one I pulled out earlier to show, oh, yeah. but yeah, I just forgot. Yeah. We need to look some of these uh, up when we're done. We have some of these on the website. So if you do want to pick one up, or anybody else out there. Oh, yeah. Singles, sealed, we got it. Do it. Yeah, we just opened two sealed ones right yeah. here just for funsies, really. Yeah. Just this is off the cuff. That's what we do. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, we're going to be doing these off the cuffs all the time. Uh, like I said, this one was just we wanted to showcase some of the Final Fantasy that we have uh, while we were just sitting around. And then uh, at the same time, you know, we're just going to... We're we, just gonna talk. Yeah, we talk. We're going to talk about gaming stuff. I mean, stuff. this is the, we the Final Fantasy Opus 3 is what we're opening right now. And we've talked about Mega, we can just, we can, Mega we Man. We could do we one this about, Friday where we just sit here and just talk about Pokemon for no reason. Uh, let's do it. I mean, that's uh, what about yeah. you doing Wednesday too? Yeah. We're doing Wednesday? Sure. Awesome. We're, so we're going to do another one of these Wednesday. We literally just decided what's the move? You, you know what? Wednesday. Oh, you want to do some Mega Man? No, that's what we're doing. You know why? Because think of that. Get, get that stuff out of there. <laughs> this is what we're doing. We're doing Mega Man NT. We decided that just yep. now. If Bring you want to see hilarity at its best, let me let me tell Bring you about Rush. Uh, what's that dog's name? Rush. Was that Rush? No, the girl's name's Roll. Roll. Hey, you know what Mega Man's name? You know what the Japanese version is? His name's Rockman. Who, who do you think you're talking to right now? I don't. This is uh, this is why I can talk about it because I know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So Rockman and Roll. So you got Rock and Roll. They were Isn't all named crazy? after. Uh, yeah, and then there was Treble and Treble Bass. Bass. Yeah. What was the bird's name? Beat. Beat. Oh. See? You know what? We're. I'm going to stop right Don't here. forget Dr. Wiley. That was a really bad uh, dub yeah. from uh, Mega Man Is that like ra 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 They, they had, uh, they had Anybody? a... Anybody? Uh, nope. They had okay. uh, some some person talk American for, for Dr. Light, and they couldn't say, apparently... They the good doctor. Say, yeah. Oh, my God. We have to stop talking. Okay. You, we have to stop talking because we, we're we going to go on about Mega Man. You know about Proto Man? We got to go, Mark. We got to go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. as in typical fashion, let's just get up. Typical fashion? Away. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs>